Frank Gonzalez, uh, what individuals had the greatest influence on you in your wrestling career? Well, I'd have to say uh, my high school coach, uh, Delmar Swartz, taught me everything I knew about wrestling. And uh, when I became a, uh, a student teacher, he took me on as his master teacher, and he taught me how to teach, basically. And then uh, at the next level, uh, uh, Frank Gettleman had a big influence on me. Uh, and last but not least is all the assistant coaches that I ever worked with had big influences on me. That would include uh, Jeff Roberts and uh, Chuck Bishop and uh, um, Bob Stolo and uh, Tim Wallstrom and Steve Himes and Scott Weir, um, Vince Silva, all of them. I took a little something from everybody. Yeah, all, all the good coaches do, yeah. don't they? Who is your idol in wrestling, Frank? Do you look up to anybody in particular? Um, I, I kind of idolized, even though I, I only met him a few times, I idolized Dan Gable. Mm -hmm. I, I had never seen anybody that, that did so much in the wrestling world, and I tried to uh, emulate a lot of things that Dan Gable did, like pushing beyond the point of pain, you know, and knowing that you have to work that hard, and uh, creating uh, men out of the guys that that you get, you know, and uh, so Dan Gable was always my hero, and he had the greatest amount of influence on me as far as uh, wrestling. What got you started in wrestling? Well, I was just a 14-year-old uh, high school kid that. Uh, the only thing I'd ever done was play uh, Little League Baseball, and so I went out for the football team, and I did okay in football, and uh, I didn't know anything about wrestling, but this guy named Del Swartz, uh, he recruited me off the football team, and uh, he uh, made me a wrestler, and uh, the rest is history. It's like I found my avocation very early on. Mm -hmm. I knew that, that something to do with wrestling was going to consume me for the rest of my life. And Frank, as a coach, obviously you were one of the most successful high school coaches in California. And, and what aspect of your character or personality uh, enabled you to have that level of success? I think if I can think of anything about me uh, is, uh, is perseverance and a willingness to, to, to learn from other people and other coaches. Um, wrestling is such an individual sport and I think the challenge is to to get each kid to to find out what, what they're good at doing and then move them in that direction. So it's just not one thing, it's a lot of things. And and sticking with the uh, with the the rigor of uh, you know of the training and and uh, always being there and 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 be demanding and 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 just being a model for them and, and pushing them beyond what they think they could ever go. Mm -hmm. I think uh, perseverance. That's big. Yeah. What's the one outstanding memory you have as a as a coach, Frank? Uh, well, I think uh, 1982, when, uh, when it was like a magical year for us. Uh, we had a great coaching staff. Uh, we, uh, everything we did during the course of the normal season, uh, we did right. Uh, we had a, one thing I think that turned our heads around. We were talented and we were good, but uh, uh, we, we had an a Empire League loss to Laura High School. And I think that was a, that made us tough. That made us good. Uh, we went on and set a CIF Southern section uh, uh, scoring record, and uh, we won the state of California that year, all of which you were a part of, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> We just interviewed John Dalem, so oh. uh, hey, that was one of his <laughs> highlights, was okay. the victory over you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What made you decide to become a coach? I know that you wrestled in high school and college, and once you got out, what was the uh, well motivation the, the, for that? Way back, I always had this, this thing about me. I wanted to be like my uncle. My uncle was an athlete in high school, and he was a very hard worker. And so I, I knew I wanted to do something with, with sports, but uh, when I got to high school, 
All the people that influenced me the most in high school and colleges uh, and college were coaches. And so uh, it just kind of clicked for me. I want to be like them. And as it worked out, uh, that's what I was meant to do. You know, and uh, uh, I went in that direction and uh, I never looked back. Mm -hmm. Never looked back. Would you do anything differently? Your start I, over I would do a lot of different things in my life mm -hmm. to make things better, but I, I don't think I would do a whole lot different in my coaching career. I'm sure I made a lot of mistakes, you know, but I learned from my mistakes. And uh, I, I always thought it's important to, uh, to move forward and learn. Um, but there's not a whole lot that I would, uh, I would do differently. The bad and the good, that's who I am. Mm -hmm. What would you like people to remember about Frank Gonzalez? I think uh, the most important thing uh, is, is uh, to remember that, uh, that I was not only a, a wrestling coach, but they learned from me and that I was a good teacher and person. I think that's the most important thing. I mean, down the road, I would hope they think uh, I, I really respected my high school coach because he was a good man and a good teacher. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing for me, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Frank, congratulations on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. It's just a pleasure to have you be inducted, and it's certainly well-deserved. Thank it's you, Frank. An, it's an honor, and I'm humbled to be part of it. Thanks.